Hi everybody. What is this? Valve finally fixed the unofficial hidden nerf the cow mangler had since its inception. Am I dreaming? Its lower reload speed for the first rocket has gone. After who knows how many years. Unbelievable. And that's amazing. So instead of testing our single cow mangler first now with the abilities of upgrades offered by MVM, we go further. I called in my Steam group, whose link is in the description, and in the Two Cities Veteran group, same link below, some helpers. And then we tried a pretty soldier friendly Bavarian Botbash mission with five, oh, I say, geez. five cow mangler soldiers. What is ammo? No ammo, no dispenser, no engine required. Spam, spam everywhere. One exception in the team. A money collector, either spy or scout shall be required. That's a given. This way you'll see one A plus after the other. It's routine here. So, how the new cow mangler is affected by the upgrades of MVM? Well, the fact that it has infinite reserve of ammo is a godsend as you can just avoid the dispenser or the hangi at all. As we did, but not only you'll save a ton of money at upgrade ammo capacity. This puts this weapon as a direct side grade of the Burgers, the best rocket launcher till so far, if we don't take into account its great deficiency. I mean, Burgers save you the firing speed as the only meaningful attribute to fire rockets faster and faster is its reload speed. This is because of its firing mechanic. The cow mangler depends on both fire speed and reload speed, exactly as the stock rocket launcher, that's a given, but its peculiarity in its infinite ammo, so you save from that. All in all, it's balanced with the beggars money-wise, one upgrade less to take care of. You sacrifice the crits ability of the weapon, no crits Craig maybe, no random crits, no crits canteen. This luck might hurt. But not so much if you don't have a crits medic in your team, which we hadn't in the first place. MVM robots don't tougher many sentry nests, just a few missions have sentries here and there, and thus less damage to the building isn't very frequent. The alternate ability of stunning and disabling sentries with alt fire might be enough for some other teammates destroying them. In the Bavarian Botbash mission we tested, there is hardly an anti-bot, so it was not a problem at all. And just remember this if you play some more cruel and dense fitted robot engine missions, like Mecha Engines ones, for example. Here the downside against the building could be a thing. Speaking of the alt fire, <laughs> it's a gaming, I know. Sacrificing a full clip for just a minicrit shot isn't valuable in MVM, especially after the faster firing speed upgrades. You fire the whole clip in the same time you charge the single shot and do a better damage overall with all those rockets. Still, it's fun to see robots burning in flames after that many great hit. It's fun to you sometimes, I think which we took the time to show off despite uh, pretty useless. As to that, this alt fire isn't though for MVM upgrades. When you start upgrading your clip of the rocket launcher, Passing from stock 4 rockets to more, like 5 or 6, the reload time from an empty clip becomes longer, clearly longer. Hence, using too often the alt fire cripples you too much. After every charged shot you stand like an idiot, reloading 6 rockets. It's a bad concept and doesn't offer anything worthful with clip upgraded in MVM. But still, it was fun here and there, we humans get amusement for fun, not only for reasoning, right? So I went with my beloved Conqueror, my other teammates, all coming from the two city veterans group, went with different choices, buff banners to manicrate our spam of rockets or battalions back up, to negate any crit attack from the pesky giant soldiers or heavies. So, all in all, this test wasn't really the meta. Not having an engine nor medic isn't a thing you see very often in two cities, even Bavarian Botbash. Yet it wasn't the worst weirdled doubt at all. On the contrary, it was one of the best suited team composition for missions like this, with limited to zero Uber charged medics.
All that said, I might test this composition, always with a scout spy as Monica Lecter, in different and other missions, either to cities or from different tours, which you think could be suited enough for five cow anglers. Are you interested in participating? If you are, then a couple of suggestions. First, join my Steam group. I always call this type of events there before anywhere else. If fail, I go to other groups I am part of. You can always find my Steam group description in my main YouTube page top banner, or just look at the description of this video if you are lazy. The more we are, the better, and you'll be alerted for those events and or any new uploaded videos way before anyone else. Second, if you can, take a Tour of Duty ticket ready in your backpack. I tried sometimes to play bootcamp for these, but even with a full team, like we were today, the experience always sucks. This is because the reliability of the community servers joinable from there can be pretty different from the standards we are used in Valve's Manap. Low servers, high ping, and spoken mods allowing more than six people joining. You never know what you'll end up into until you join. It might happen you land in an okayish server, it might not. Probably I'll do in the coming days the same cow mangler test in Collegian Scaber mission, the Wave 666. This is not offered in Manap, so rejoy. You might enter the party and test this together in a bootcamp server. We all hope of enough quality to be prime time ready. To be there, you'll need to copy the invitation, it's a new URL I generally put in the event, and paste into a browser. It triggers Steam to directly join me in the party, even if we are not friends. Don't be scared of those links, everything with Steam URL can't hurt in real life, it can't be efficient, Was link starts with HTTP, as you surely know. So, what do you think of this cow mangler revival? Is it now worth the wait in MVM? I think so, at least in some scenarios. Like uh, no charismatic in your team, not many enemy sentry nest and such. Join the Steam group if you want to see when the next event comes. Generally, those events will be in Manhub, but I can't exclude the test on Wave 66, so in all bootcamp free glory. Be ready to be skilled enough for this, though. I'm sure if you are a veteran of this channel, you already are. Hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.